Yeah. I began my journey to Shumpon with Nok Air. The airline operates daily flights from Bangkok's Donwang Airport to Shumpon Town, the closest mainland airport to Koh Tao, which is best known as the Gulf of Thailand's top diving and party island. My flight was undertaken in a 36-seat Saab 340B. Shumpon itself is regarded as the gateway to the south with a 222 kilometer long coastline along the Gulf of Thailand. Touchdown at the small airport was followed by a bus ride through rolling hills and green farmland. My first stop, the mountaintop lookout Khao Din Saw, a site that avid bird watchers flock to every day. Well, Shumpon is not only a popular place for human tourists, it's also a major stop on the migratory trail for raptors. Now, at least 27 different species of eagles, hawks, buzzards, kites, just to name a few, have been recorded passing through here. Every winter, the raptors flee the cold in Siberia and head south to Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia and on to Australia. Well, Chukiet is one of the researchers here and one of the questions I want to ask you is why is Thailand so important on the trail for the falcons and where do they come from? The birds that come through Thailand are mainly from Russia, Mongolia, China, Japan and Korea and take around four months to get here. They start to fly south from August and reach their final destination around November. And all the birds that fly to Shumpon, they will not stop here for long. They're just passing through. เขาจะบินอพยพหมุนตัวแล้วก็ผ่านลงไปอย่างเดียวนะครับไม่ได้มาอยู่เป็นประจำ Oh look, no care. <laughs> Apparently, the raptors prefer a bit of cloud cover because it's a bit cooler for them. So we're going to try to get a bit higher and see if we can find any. They're a bit elusive today. We're halfway there. Where are the raptors? Oh, but look at the view. Wow. Okay, the final part is 80 steps. Oh, 80 big steps up to the top. Oh, gee, I wish I had wings. No, 41, 42. 43, 44. I'm halfway there. Wow. Oh, made it.
There's a raptor watching festival here every October and the birds number in the tens of thousands. The views over Shompon are stunning. We were then rewarded with some spectacular swooping airplay from numerous beautiful birds of prey. It was time to head back down for a trip to the beach. Champagne is home to a great selection of water sports, from river rafting to kayaking, diving or boating. But if you just want to stay on the beach, there are long stretches of sand to choose from. Even during the wet season, Champagne is a lovely place to visit. Now this is Tungwulan Beach, which is without a doubt one of the loveliest stretches of coastline along here. The name of this beach translates as Running Bull Field and comes from a legend about a magic wild bull that after being subdued by hunters came back to life and ran away into the forest. After sampling some of Champagne's seafood, we then made our way to Novotel Champagne, 15 kilometers south of the city. This lovely 86-room resort has the destination's first full-size swimming pool. Well, this is the first international hotel here in Champagne, and you're the GM, Preta. Yes, I am the GM this year at the Novotel Champagne Beach Resort. This is the hotel is that just only one, the international hotels here. The other hotel for the local people, they do it by themselves. And so many bungalows around the Inchum Pond. Because Inchum Pond, this is the place is very nice, you know. Yes. The beach is the face, the beginning until the finish is up 222 kilometers. And we have the almost about 50 Icelands here. Now, a lot of people don't know about Champagne. You know, you, when you talk to a lot of international tourists, they haven't heard of it. And I guess it's a well-kept secret. Oh, yeah. But now you try to let people know to come here. Okay. Champagne, this is the best way to go into uh, snorkeling, uh, driving, and that take a sunshine because it's, um, here it's very strong sunshine when it's yeah. coming in here. And Champagne, that is the way to go into the Samui. Please welcome to Shumpon. If you prefer the green to the blue of the sea, the resort also has a nine-hole golf course. After dark, Shumpon doesn't offer much of a party scene, but you can check out the town's night markets for local delicacies and some beachwear bargains. You're watching Destination Thailand. Chart your course for all points. Set course for all. Paddy is most exciting. Paddy is most exact. Paddy is most in point. Has most in new heights. It new heights. Towers 30 stories over the sword after hilltop on gold after hill it on gold after hill of Pratun after hill world class after hill world class after hill world class after hill design class after hill that own class after hill books the own class after hill books the own class after hill thinks the own class after hill will the winning your club the hill and this is your club the hill vistas or club the hill vistas or club the great journey of their lives begins here a place where skills are developed and values are cherished where friendships are forged and responsibility is encouraged, where challenges are faced and talent blooms. Give your children the best education. Regions International School, Bangkok, home of well-rounded leaders for the future. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Jomtien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Jomtien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, 
stylish modern facilities, a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Jong Tien, a new journey begins. You're watching Destination Thailand. Shumpon is located on the Isthmus of Kra, the narrow land bridge connecting the Malay Peninsula with the mainland of Thailand. It might be small, but Shumpon is packed with surprises. One of the main attractions in town is this popular shrine. The town of Shumpon itself was actually named after Krom Ma Luong Shumpon who was one of the many sons of King Chulalongkorn. What he was most famous for was founding the Thai Navy. Dedicated to the Admiral Prince, whose full name is the lengthy Pra Barom Ma Wong Tok Rom Luang Shumpon Ket Udom Sak, the shrine is shaped like a ship itself and decorated with an interesting array of marine memorabilia. The site is visited every day by Navy crews and fishermen, as well as those with family members at sea. Similar shrines can be found in most coastal locations around Thailand. After an offering is made, if luck is visited on the worshipper, then it's customary to fire off a pistol or several firecrackers. There is also a museum on site with exhibits focusing on the Admiral's biography and items he used throughout his life, along with a few larger treasures. Well, there are reminders of Krom Ma Luong Shumpon throughout this town and province. This is probably one of the most impressive. This is the last Navy ship he sailed on. You can climb over the torpedo ship Royal Champagne for as long as you like. My next stop was somewhat bizarre. Naidam Garden is a popular spot for coffee in Champagne and the ideal place to take a toilet break. That is because there is nothing but toilets here of every size and variety. The creators, Pongsak Ching Suwanrod and his father Nai Dam, originally built one of Shumpon's best toilets to serve the needs of visitors who came to see their successful fruit plantation. A year later, the toilet was named the country's best. Flushed with success, Pong Sak was inspired to build more creative loos, and this is the result. Now, believe it or not, this garden is famous for its toilets. So, if you've got to go, there's all manner of ways to do so. Now, the toilet behind me here is called the Tarzan and Jane toilet, and obviously, it requires a bit of an effort to get to. But then, if you're desperate, you'll probably do anything. So, let's go. I think I should have held on a bit longer. <laughs> All right. Now that's a relief.
feel like one big toilet bowl. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Get me out of here. The coffee shop here takes the theme to a whole new level. There are souvenirs shaped like, well, use your imagination, and your beverage will be served in a very special cup. This coffee is not as bad as it looks. If you've got to go, it may as well be a memorable experience. You're watching Destination Thailand. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Jom Tien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Jom Tien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, stylish modern facilities, a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Jom Tien, a new journey begins. Nigel Kornick is one of the most experienced developers in Thailand. Stephen O'Dell from Soda is an award-winning architect. Colin Okashimo is Asia's modern landscape Zen master. This is the team behind Padia's exciting new project, South Point. Developed by Kingdom Property, South Point is financed by Kung Thai Bank and has full EIA approval. Invest with the best and don't miss the point. You're watching Destination Thailand. When it comes to journeying around the waters offshore from Shumpon in Thailand's south, the best known high speed ferry service is run by Long Praya. The company has its own jetty on the edge of town, and from here you can set off to explore some of Thailand's most famous island escapes. Shumpon is a wonderful gateway to the islands of the Gulf of Thailand, and as you can see, it's a great day for exploring. So, let's go. We cruised past the Shumpon Archipelago and then ventured on through turquoise waters. Now there are many ways to journey around this part of Thailand, but Long Praya has been taking people through the waters here on catamarans for quite a few years now, Kit. That's right, isn't it? Uh, almost. No, more than 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, I guess Shumpon is a great spot to start a journey if you're going to go out to some of the islands. Yes, actually most of the foreigners uh, came from, come from Bangkok, from Khao San Road, uh, with our bus to Shumpon, and then we have a catamaran, high-speed catamaran from Shumpon to Khao Tao and Kanang Yuan. So Shumpon is, is, I guess, a great starting point if you're right. going to do a day trip or you want to spend a bit of time in the islands yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, we have day trip, day, uh, daily snuggling trip from Shumpon to Konang Yuan. Uh, we go every day and also we have a short trip. If you have uh, less time, you can go with our boat from Shumpon, go to Shumpon Marine Park. It's only short trip uh, and visit like four, four islands around. Yeah. And what do you think is, is special about Shumpon? Shumpon actually is better than you, you thought because uh, Shumpon is a small city but have a lot of nature a lot of they have they have a lot of uh, marine park island more than I can't remember but it's, we have we, we 
uh, we survey is more than 10 island, 10 island diving spot. Yeah. So it's very beautiful and very fresh. Many idyllic escapes, as you can see in this part of the Gulf. But our first stop is Lankachu Island, which I'm told is great for snorkeling. So we're going to find out. Kot Lankachu is a large bird's nest concession island. It features white sandy beaches and rocky limestone cliffs that beckon to be climbed. Below the gentle waves, the island is surrounded by several ranges of coral reefs so it is a popular diving and snorkeling spot. Now you've got to admit, this looks like the perfect escape. Okay, the, the water here is absolutely gorgeous. Not only is it clear, it's very warm. It's the wonderful thing about the Gulf of Thailand is it never really gets cold. All right, so let's go and see what's out there. You'll discover plenty of hard and soft corals and a large amount of sea life such as badfish, trevally, fusiliers, turtles and seasonal whale sharks. Sure, you can enjoy the beach. Or explore the island's small caves, including Tam Nok Nang En, or the Swallow Cave, which has a stone inscription by King Rama V. Our journey continued on through the waters of the Gulf of Thailand to another lovely island escape. Our journey has continued on here to Pitak Island, which as you can see is another idyllic escape. And it's here that you can have a homestay experience. Pitak Island has pristine natural surroundings and a focus on ecotourism. Its name actually means ghost calling. The fishing community here lives in small houses built on wooden poles in the water and along the shores you'll also see villagers at work in the local coconut plantations. Yes, you can eat it at your own risk. <laughs> The seafood on offer here is spectacular, so make sure you order some barbecued and spicy Thai dishes. If you want to stay a bit longer, the homestay is great value and a true rustic introduction to island life in Thailand. Now the nice thing about rain in the tropics is it really cools things down. Now if you'd like to have a homestay experience here on Patak Island, it'll cost you around 750 baht per person a day. Now that includes your three daily meals and your accommodation. Well, 
we tried the food, which was great. Let's see what else you get for 750 baht. This is not bad, is it? Pretty cute. There we go, mosquito nets. Probably need them here. Fan, no TV. I guess there's no internet, but it's very peaceful. Another beautiful day in paradise. There is a lot to see in the enchanting province of Shompon. Before you pass through this sleepy gateway to the south, make sure you linger here for a little longer. You'll have both a warm welcome and some laid-back holiday memories. Visit us on Facebook and tell us what you like. Or check out our website at www.destinationthailand.tv Our presenters have their hair cut, coloured and styled at Moga Salons, now available at eight locations in Thailand. Our presenters use Philip B's organic skin and hair products, available now at the Emporium, Bangkok. This program was brought to you by South Point Patia.